My name is Andres, and this is my entire film library. So how did I get here? I used to love physical media. Had a pretty sizable DVD collection, as a matter of fact. Growing up in the 90s, I was part of the last generation that grew up with physical media and the first generation that embraced digital media. When Blu-ray arrived, I came upon a problem. I didn't want to rebuy every film I owned, and it seemed like physical media was a format doomed to obsolescence every decade or so by the industry. As DVDs were gradually being phased out, they started being bundled with digital copies, which was an appealing concept but imperfect. There was no way to natively watch these on your television. You either had to hardwire your computer to the TV through the HDMI port, or you had to upload it on a thumb drive. As files on a screen, they became impersonal. Those beloved box covers were gone. Streaming services initially presented themselves as a digital solution, but their collections are subject to a sudden content removal without warning, which has actually left people like me in the dust. The final puzzle piece fell into my lap when a friend introduced me to free programs like Plex, which allowed you to create your own private media server that you can access remotely on any device so long as it has an internet connection. Programs like Plex even grant you the ability to add digital box covers and summaries, restoring the nostalgia of browsing titles and picking the ones with the most gloriously deceptive artwork or ridiculous premise. It doesn't just have to be films, either. I've been able to enjoy episodes of The Twilight Zone during my lunch breaks at work, and even watched Ultraman while on vacation in another state. With a viable option to stream my own content finally available, I finally felt like digital purchases could be the alternative I always dreamed of. All the new additions to my library were digital now. As time went on, I started realizing more and more that my digital library was growing more appealing and convenient than getting up and popping a DVD in. After giving it a lot of thought, I finally took the plunge and digitized the rest of my library, selling it all afterwards. It was honestly kind of liberating. Everything I ever owned was suddenly accessible in a way it had never been before. I don't want to alarm anyone, but what no one seems to be acknowledging is the fact that all physical media has a shelf life, whether it's discs or tape. None of these formats were made with longevity in mind. Tapes are infamous for degrading, discs rot over time as a result of gradual oxidation and use, and the machines they're played on are phased out as new formats replace them. Your shelves are lined with ticking time bombs. All consumer-grade formats only have a 15 to 20 year lifespan. If we're talking about the most resilient format you could have your shows or movies in, then digital files are essentially immortal. Their only constraints are the devices they're kept on. The files themselves do not degrade over time. It's true that my external will break down over time, but it's far easier to replace one device every three to five years versus an entire library of discs or tapes. You don't have to start completely over either. You can start your digital collection by downloading free programs like Handbrake to digitize your DVDs and Blu-rays, or purchase the necessary hardware to inexpensively digitize your VHS tapes. I understand that the prospect of digitizing your entire library might seem daunting and time-consuming, but this labor of love will grant you the rediscovery of all your shows and films in an entirely new, entirely convenient, and essentially immortal format. Until next time.